lot of fun. Oh, this is challenge number two. Uh, the challenge is making a proposal. Uh, and I'd like to tell you about my experiences with this task. So, uh, in or over life, during life, uh, and mainly in my employment life, um, I've been used to uh, a range of proposals. Um, and just of late, uh, I did make a business proposal. And um, that's gone to another stage now. And so I'm happy about those things. Anyway, I have just to talk about the experiences with family. Um, it is a common thing for males in our whānau. Uh, this is not targeted at all male, just uh, male in my whānau. Uh, to ask the female what's happening when it's happening, who's part of that, why it's happening, and all those sorts of things. Uh, and it is common for the females uh, in my family to have a direct answer to it. Um, with the answer comes an explanation. And with the explanation sometimes comes a look. Uh, but all intentions with the kaupapa, um, it's all in aroha. So, those are my experiences with um, being able to make proposals. I don't have a problem with making proposals. I don't have a problem with leading and managing tasks or projects or anything like that. Um, uh, as long as I have a drilled out description of what's required and and most of the times I'll ask questions around um, the expectations, um, possibly outcomes, uh, just to make sure that we've, we've got some clarity around uh, the expectation of mahi. And so, those are my experiences of uh, learning to propose, um, making a proposal, the different forms of proposing, um, just all that kind of stuff. Um, again, I will tag three Fano into this journey um, and in advance Ngāmuhi mai oha mai Fano, thank you for the support uh, on my journey because I want to earn a scholarship of seven and a half thousand towards business um, and so I thank you all Kahite.